a new computer art tutorial and what we're going to be going through is using a layer clipping mask in order to create or fill text with an image and so you see here I have a couple effects uh, on the actual word itself including a drop shadow and a bevel to kind of make it a little more three-dimensional pop out here um, as well as a background layer and an image that's filling this word this uh, paint palette here and so let's go ahead and get started on a new example we'll start with the size of 10 as a width and 8 inches and we'll keep the resolution low at 72 because we're going to be using images from the web and so what I have decided to start with in this actual one before I go and get my images um, I was going to use a quote that is actually attributed to Wayne Gretzky um, not Michael Jordan but the quote is you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Um, and this quote is attributed to, as I said, Wayne Gretzky and not who uh, everyone thinks it might be, as Michael Jordan is kind of also known for it as well. Don't know how that mix up occurred, but. Um, here I'm just using a bold font here so make sure you're using a font that's large you know Arial black um, black oak you know choose a font that's got some sufficient um, boldness to it okay I really like that Rockwell font and then making that bold or I think I thought maybe there's an extra bold option but um, regular bold will work here um, I want to make the size pretty significant. I might even take this up to 60 and let's see maybe adjust the size of my box here so that it's a little bit more even so my lines aren't um, all over the place. We may want to choose the center. I think I may leave it for now. Um, Alright and so once we think we have that set um, what we're going to do is look for an image to fill this text with and so I've already started a search over here. I'll hop over to Google Chrome um, there's a basketball hoop I was going to use as the background, and then I was going to use a basketball image to actually kind of fill the text with that texture. And so if I'm looking for a good image here, um, I could choose from a few. And this looks like it would be a good image to try and use, let it load here, um, to get that texture. So I don't have a lot of the wording or anything in there um, to kind of mess with that. Alright, so I'm going to go over back into my Photoshop document and uh, paste down this image and it should get created on its own layer. Um, I will move the image, make sure that it uh, fills or covers all of my text. So there we go. I can't see any of my text behind that. Um, and now basically I'll hit enter to kind of keep that transformation set. If we right click on the layer that our image is on and we go down to create clipping mask, that's as easy as it is, it is. So now you can see that that basketball texture comes through this image. Um, we may want to add a couple effects to make that stand out a little more. So if I select this text layer and I go to FX, um, maybe let's click on drop shadow here and we could add a drop shadow to this. Um, you have some different options over here, sliders, direction you can change of your drop shadow, the opacity you can make it darker, lighter, um, distance of it going further away or getting closer to letters um, and the spread as well okay the other thing I might add is a bevel and that's kind of it gives it that 3d kind of edge um, I might turn down the depth a little bit so it's not as deep or you can turn it way up so it really looks like your text is popping off the page and you've got a couple different options for bevels here as well um, embossing would be like pressing into the paper kind of um, or uh, the bevel is when it pops out of the page. So inner bevel, outer bevel, a couple different options to um, kind of mess with and see what will help your font stand out most. So we may come back and uh, adjust some of these. We'll say OK um, once we bring in our background image now. So we'll go back over to Chrome and go to my other search where I had this uh, image of a hoop already queued up to um, borrow for just this project's sake. Go back to Photoshop and I will now uh, edit and paste this image in as well. 
I want to pull this image down to being behind my text, obviously. I want the text to stand out on top of it here. And I'm just going to click and drag and hold the corners. Oh, looks like I'm going to need to zoom out a little bit here in order to continue. So zooming out a little bit. Now clicking and dragging these corners just a little bit more so that the image fills my canvas space and apply that transformation. Um, as you can see, I'll probably want to move the location of my text and this basketball as well. So I'm going to hold shift and click on both and bring them down to this other corner here. I think that that works a little bit better as far as um, the setup goes. Maybe I'll move the hoop image up just a slight bit so it makes a little bit more room for my text here. And what you'll notice is if I'm, I've got the basketball layer selected, I can move the basketball around through here. So if there's a spot where it seems like the basketball kind of like uh, works better for the text, that works too. Um, I will change this to being aligned right so that it works better for this side. All right, so everything's aligned right on this side. Um, and I think actually what I'd rather have is if that middle line, actually, I think that that works best. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Awesome, so the one other thing I was gonna add to this is maybe a little bit of a glow effect. So I'll go back to my text layer, I'll go back to effects, and um, let's try and add an inner glow. And so if I move my window out of the way here, and I look at the uh, glow, we can look and see that you can add a little bit of a brightness to the edge of your letters as well. Um, size, obviously, will increase the size of the glow. We don't want to make it too big, but we want to make it so that it helps some of the edges of my letters stand out there. Um, so maybe I'll just enter three in for that value. All right, and that looks pretty good. And so I would want to include uh, the name of the person that I would give this to. And so I will actually make a new box here. And I will shrink down my font size to maybe 12 or so. And we will give credit to Sir Wayne oh, Gretzky. And you can't see this because it's typing in black. And so I'm going to have to reverse those colors. Um, maybe make this font just a little bit larger, 18 there. And I can see I typed it wrong, but I also could not see what I was typing. So um, there we go. Give credit to the author, as always, um, when you are quoting. And there you go. That's about it for this uh, particular tutorial for computer art. I hope you have lots of luck being creative with your own.